The Pokemon community as of late has been in a bit of drama. This drama all revolves around Pokemon Sun and Moon theory videos, top 5, top 10 videos, and leak videos. And today, I'm here to put an end to this drama once and for all. Now, I know what a lot of you guys' initial thoughts are, and that's... But this is a drama video. You're making a drama video. That just adds to the drama. It keeps, keeps the flame going. And my response to that would be... Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. So I'm gonna do my best to calmly explain to you guys the situation and my opinion on it. Before we get into anything, I want to say one, I'm not gonna make any accusations. I'm not gonna call anyone out. And two, I want to hear your guys' opinions on this. I'm a very open-minded person. Um, I'm not going to be manipulated easily or anything like that. But I will listen to what you have to say. And if you prove something that makes me wrong, if you prove me, prove to me that I'm wrong, I will admit that I'm wrong. I have no shame in being wrong. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And today, I just I want to address the mistakes that have been made. Again, I'm not going to mention any names. Not going to make any accusations. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this. The first time I recorded it, I was really pissed off. I was like yelling and screaming. And that's just, that's not the side of me that you guys know. That's not even really a side of me. I, I don't know. That was weird. That was not Luke. That was some other random asshole that came and recorded that. Um, and also, I made an accusation. I called someone out. Uh, I didn't give away their identity, but I showed a tweet and I censored it. Um, but I realized that that kind of broke my own point. It was kind of hypocritical. So I wanted to remove that. I thought that there was no point. Um... The person was basically doing something, calling another YouTuber out, and me calling them out would just basically be doing the same thing. But without it, let's get straight into this video, and uh, yeah, here we go. One more side note, the gameplay is provided by Troll. You can get his YouTube link from the description below. Thank you very much. I didn't have any time to record any gameplay. Uh, so he was nice enough on his birthday, which is today, uh, to record some gameplay for me. So go ahead, do his channel, wish him a happy birthday, etc. <clears throat> so people have been saying lately that... Pokemon Sun and Moon videos have been making the community toxic. They've been very repetitive, um, and that that they they're making the community worse. And first off, I want to agree with the fact that there have been way too many Pokemon Sun and Moon videos as of late. Too many leak videos. Too many uh, too many theory videos. All that junk. And some of them are just so far fetched. No, no pun. Get out of here. Get you, you who just pointed out that pun. Go, go away. Get out of my video. Um, but they're just like kind of out there, but I mean hey, it's just a video for fun There's no reason to get upset over it people are claiming that these videos are ruining the community Like I said before and that really isn't the case and I'm here to tell you why So the first point I want to bring up is YouTube and what is YouTube about? Well, we all know deep inside that YouTube is about having fun and making cool videos and that is so true But it's also about growing and expanding your horizon Making your videos get more views, it is about that, I don't care what you say, it's mostly about having fun. I will give you that, and I agree with that, and that's why I make videos. I like to do it, and I like to have fun doing it, but it is about capitalizing on things that are popular at the moment and getting views. YouTube is about getting views, that's why people can watch your videos, so you can get views. So about the capitalizing of the certain topics, that's what's been going on with Pokemon Sun and Moon lately. It's been exploding in popularity, of course, we haven't had a new Pokemon game in so long since X and Y. We had the remakes, but they really weren't much, and uh, they, they kind of got dry pretty fast. And another great thing about YouTube is that you can upload what you want. There are no rules on what you can upload as long as it doesn't violate the terms and services, as long as you don't break any rules, no nudity, anything like that. You are good to upload and make sure it's all within fair use and you're good to go. And if people enjoy your content, I think that that's great. If people are enjoying your Sun and Moon Theory video, well, hey, I gotta give it to you. Good job making that video. If people are enjoying it, people are liking it, people are viewing it, people are giving you some subscriptions, good for you, man. I am happy for you. But some people aren't. Some people want to discredit you. They say that there's too many Sun and Moon videos and that it's an illegitimate way to get views. And I completely disagree with that. YouTube is about making what you want and doing what you love. And that's what these people are doing, and you have no place to tell them what they can and cannot upload. You have no place to shame them for their uploads. You have no place to subtweet about them for their uploads, or tweet about them, or call them out. That is not fair. It is ridiculous. It is childish. And in all honesty, most of the YouTubers that are calling these other people out are a lot larger. So in my eyes, I think it's at least a little pathetic. 
It isn't a problem. It is not a problem that there are a lot of Sun and Moon videos lately. It's actually probably a good thing, expanding the community. More people are coming in for Sun and Moon. Take advantage of it. Get the views. That's a good thing. You want to do that. And it's not taken away from your content unless you make the same types of videos. And half these people that are calling out these other channels are like Let's Play channels. Like, what, why are you calling out this person? They're not doing anything to harm you, okay? It, they're not doing anything bad. Just, just calm down, okay? It's not harming you at all. It's not affecting your channel. The next topic is actually a pretty controversial one when it comes to YouTubers, and uh, that's the the most famous thing on YouTube. The most famous thing, the reason why people are trying to be YouTubers nowadays is to get some of that YouTube money. You gotta get that YouTube revenue. And my first one about that is talking about people who say, "Oh, you only do YouTube for the money." And I know you couldn't see it because I don't do face cam, but I did the little quote pointy thingy thingy with my fingers when I said that because it's so stupid a lot of people that are that you're claiming do it for the money have this as a full-time job a part-time job uh, just something they do to get a little extra cash in their life while they work somewhere else to help them live to help them enjoy to help them buy new equipment whatever it is for doing YouTube for the money solely now that I'm gonna have to say is a no-no if you do YouTube only for money then you're kind of an asshole because it's not only about money, it's about the community, it's about loving what you do. So if you love your YouTube videos that you make and you love getting a little bit of money, then hey, I gotta hand it to you, good job, you're doing what you love and getting paid. You think, uh, you think popular singers such as Beyonce, Rihanna, Justin Bieber, you think they only do it because they love singing? No, of course not. I bet if Justin Bieber never got famous, he wouldn't sing as much as he used to. I bet Beyonce wouldn't sing as much as he used to if she, uh, if she didn't get paid for it people take advantage of the fact that they're getting paid and that's a completely fine thing. There's nothing wrong with it and I don't know why people have to attack certain YouTubers on doing it for the money. This is their job. And let me ask you, if you had a chance to make more money from some from your job or your part-time job, if you had a chance to get a little bit more money, if your boss was like, hey, hey, just do this real quick thing and I'll give you an extra 20 bucks, would you do it? If it was something little, something you could easily do, something that you enjoyed doing, and they're like, hey, go play basketball, and you love to play basketball. Go play basketball outside, and I'll give you $20. If they said that to you, would you not take the opportunity? No, of course you would take it. You'd be silly not to take it. Of course you want that extra money. Who doesn't want money? Money's not a bad thing. These people aren't being greedy. So if you're given the opportunity where a topic is exploding, aka being Pokemon Sun and Moon leaks, theories, and countdowns, why would you not capitalize on that? That's the smart thing to do. If you don't, then you're th that's honestly stupider than the people that are. So there's nothing wrong with taking advantage of the current algorithms in the Pokemon community. To get money? What's wrong, what's wrong with getting it money? If you're doing it only for the money, again, only for the money, which almost I don't think anyone in this community is, then you're kind of a scumbag. There might be a few people, uh, you know, certain people that upload full trailers at a, and uh, try and monetize them and don't get copyright claim, but I'm not naming any names. But yeah, I do not blame people that want to get money from making videos. It's something you love. You're getting paid to do what you love. That's the best part. And I think that a lot of people that are calling these other YouTubers out are really, really jealous of the amount of attention they're getting for these videos. And I think that's not okay. If you're jealous, then be jealous. That's fine. You know Arizo, that guy who got 60,000 subs like out of nowhere? That man blew up. I want you to know, in all honesty, I am so jealous of Arizo. But also, I'm happy for him, and I'm happy that he's doing well, and I'm glad he loves doing what he's doing, and I love, he's, I love that he's growing from it. I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome for him, and I'm happy for him. And I think it's pathetic for people to dig on other people for, doing, for making a YouTube video of some certain type. It's not cheap, and I hate that people are calling others out for it. I hate it. And in all honesty, you should really just worry about yourself. It's about you. It's about what you do. You need to focus on you. You need to stop worrying what other people do if it doesn't affect you. These people that are like 20-something year olds are acting like they're children. And come on, guys, for real. Don't give people crap for what they do. It's what they like to do, and they're getting money for it, and there's nothing wrong with that. I know I've said that probably 35,000 times, but I just can't stress that enough. And it's been really upsetting to me as a content creator in this community that people are getting crapped on for that i'd also like to add a quick side note where yes i do make some pokemon sun and moon videos but this video is in no ways about me it's about what i've seen other content creators doing in this community which is obviously calling other people out no one's called me out for making my videos for the most part some friends gave me some crap but hey they're friends so it doesn't matter but i'm not affected by this at all uh all of my videos in my opinion are completely legitimate i don't care what anyone else says about them 
Uh, and I'm just doing what I love, and I think that's what people should focus on. Do what you love. If you don't like YouTube, don't do it. Don't don't bring your negativity here. We want our community to be positive. Uh, we know that this community is filled with a lot of children, a lot of children who are at an age where they can be easily manipulated by their favorite YouTubers. And we don't want them to turn out like scumbags. Come on, guys. You gotta be a little bit more mature about this. But I guess that is a little bit of a weird point, but uh, hey, I thought I might as well add it. Uh, but I think... In the end, you should be happy for those who prosper, and you should do your own thing. That's really all I have to say about this. I think it's really ridiculous that people are getting trashed on for uh, making certain videos. I think it's pathetic. Um, but hey, what can you do about it? I guess there's always going to be a little bit of drama here and there. But yeah, that's my second time recording this, because the first time, like I said, was a... Woo! Was that a kind of kind of a mess, and I'm glad I didn't upload it, because I would have gotten in probably a lot of drama. A lot more than I want to be in. Um, but yeah, quickly before we go, guys, if you want to be featured in one of my upcoming videos, you can go to the last episode of Pokey Quiz, which I'll have an annotation on the screen where you can click on, or in the description below, or you can just search my channel for it. Uh, click on that, and there's a question at the end, and if you answer it uh, and get a good creative answer, you have a chance to be featured in the next episode, which is coming out this Tuesday. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and take your chances there. Have a great day, guys. I felt like I really needed to make this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave your opinions in the comment sections below. I want to hear your opinions. I want you to tell me why I'm wrong. I want you to tell me why I'm right. That's what opinions are all about, okay? Some people are too opinionized. Some people think their opinions are on top, and I don't think that. I don't think that at all. I just want to share with you guys what I think, how I view the situation, and, uh, I guess that's it. Have a great day, guys. Um, remember to, you know, keep your hopes up. Be happy. Be positive. Um, that's the best way to live life, isn't it? Don't be negative. Don't bring others down, unless there's, like, a legitimate reason to. Um, I'm not saying don't stand up for other people, don't stand up for yourself, but uh, try and keep positivity as a priority. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you later.